Hey there YouTube, welcome back to the shop, Dr. Yash here. So I've had a few requests on the basics, the theory of operation, the maintenance, diagnostics and repairs on what is officially known as a forced air heater. In this case it's of the liquid fuel variety, such as kerosene, diesel, and JP8 jet fuel. So I call them torpedo heaters. I've heard them called torpedo heaters. I've heard them called salamanders. Not really sure where that name comes from, but I've heard them called that. So, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and flip this camera around, take the hood off, and show you what we're dealing with here. Be right back. All right, so here we go. You should be pretty familiar with these by now, by the description I gave you and by the fact that you're watching this video. It should be pretty self-explanatory, and you know what you're looking at. So, this one here is very old. Um, from the literature, I can tell that it's early 70s, based on a couple of minor details on the motor itself. You can see it's Sears, before they started calling things Craftsman, or their whole line would be called Craftsman, but you can see Sears Roebuck and Company. It's been around a while, early 70s, like I said. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the hood off, Put six screws to hold that on in this model. So there you go. It's a fairly simple machine, but there is a delicate balance that has to occur for everything to function properly. So we'll start from the back to the front. You got your main electric motor, which runs all of the air handling of the unit. You got a fan that moves air through the unit. That's where the forced air comes into play. And also you have an air pump. And this is actually what moves the fuel through the unit. You might think to yourself, why would an air pump move fuel through the unit? Well, that's because in this case, you've got hard, a hard metal line. You've got this 90 degree fitting, goes down, comes back up right here. Well, the chamber, or this uh, nozzle has two different pieces in it. There's a fuel nozzle inside here, and the fuel actually is siphoned up out of the tank by the air pressure blowing across the, uh, the end of the nozzle. So we'll get into the details of that when we go to get into the video where we talk about diagnosing fuel system issues but for now basically the air blowing through there just siphons the siphons the fuel up out of the tank so you got your electric motor your air pump of course your fan and then you have the combustion chamber this is where all the fun stuff happens obviously you can tell this has gotten hot because it oxidizes the metal um, so you have a nozzle that's in here let me see if I can get this light working. You can see down in there somewhat. You can see the end of this spark plug too right there. It's a very long tip spark plug and it is constantly sparking based off of that transformer there. It's just a transformer. It buzzes that spark plug at 60 hertz so it's constantly going in this case. But what happens is you have atomized fuel being sprayed out of the end of the nozzle right across the tip of that spark plug and then you have a flame being created and of course we're fanning the flames so that's how you get what you have coming out of the end of here you have this nose cone and all that fire blows up against that nose cone that's why you see them glowing most of the time and that's why they produce so much heat and sound like a jet engine because we're fanning some flames it gets loud so so that's simple enough um, but there's also a feedback system for safety because you don't want to just have a bunch of liquid fuel putting off fumes and then just an explosion or noxious fumes. You want to have decent combustion. Um, and all this stuff that you see here uh, is implemented a little bit differently on the new ones, but it all applies. As a matter of fact, a lot of the parts are interchangeable. This, these, like these air pump pieces, a lot of the filters and stuff like that, it's all interchangeable with newer ones as long as it's of the same type. Um, so. You do have a feedback system, and on this one, it's got a light sensor. Actually, almost all of them have a light sensor. And that's looking at the flame. There's a hole in the back of this chamber here where it can see into the combustion chamber and look at the brightness. And even in the later models, I think it has the ability to discriminate against color of whether it's a blue flame, a yellow flame, or an orange flame. And it will shut the unit down if the combustion is not proper. This one's a little bit more forgiving, but like I said, there's a bit of a delicate balance, especially in the newer ones. It's looking for a certain combustion. 
Uh, but on this case, in this case, it's controlled by, uh, I believe there's a small electronic unit underneath here, and then there's a time delay circuit breaker that will trip. If it doesn't see proper flame, it'll run for a little while and it'll trip this breaker and shut the whole unit down. So basically you fire, you plug in the unit, this motor spins, takes off, starts blowing the air, you'll hear it blowing the air, and then as this builds pressure, starts blowing air across the nozzle, it pulls the fuel up, and then all of a sudden you hear a big whoosh sound and it ignites, and then you have heat. And then it runs until either you unplug it or it runs out of fuel. So, I believe that's going to cover the basics of the operation of these. As you can see, it is a relatively simple, almost crude even, and if you, uh, depending on how you look at it, it, it can be pretty crude. But um, we'll get into uh, how to adjust the air pump, how to diagnose different things with the air system, how to diagnose different things with the fuel system, and hopefully that's going to cover everything you need to know about these units, how to take care of them yourself as, a, as an equipment owner, and how to maintain them, save yourself some money. So let me know if uh, you got any questions. And as always, like, comment, subscribe. You know the deal.